Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dominic, I'm the CEO and founder of Memgraph, uh, and I'm going to be showing you today uh, how Memgraph helps uh, Fortune 500 financial institution uh, to better manage their data using data lineage. So the 2008 financial crisis uh, took away uh, $22 trillion uh, from the US economy according to the Government Accountability Office. Uh, and it was mostly blamed on the poor data quality, which in turn uh, enabled, uh, gave like poor transparency and very poor risk management. Uh, and after that, there were a lot of regulations put in place uh, for financial institutions to better manage uh, their data and provide more accurate reports and be able to prove uh, the data. And this is where we welcome to the uh, use case of data lineage. So data lineage is a process of basically tracking the data from origin to consumption uh, when it moves through various systems uh, and gets manipulated with by uh, multiple processes uh, and basically uh, seeing who modified it when and in, in what ways. Uh, and there's uh, the main thing for data lineage is to put your strategic objectives. There's no easy way uh, to tackle data lineage. There's no universal way. You have to do it for, depending on uh, what kind of data you store. So you need to put your strategic objectives for data quality, uh, put in place set up processes, uh, and basically uh, align the organizations to use these processes and basically have uh, one truth, representable truth of the data. So the main three things from the technological solution that you want to have uh, is to provide simplicity, fle uh, simplicity, flexibility, and speed. So why relational databases might not be the best choice for this? Uh, so it's very complex to model data uh, if it's very complex. Imagine having tens of thousands of different uh, tables, figuring out joins. Uh, not flexible when you're adding different system, different processes. Uh, you need to manage your schema, you need to see how this reflects everything else. And the main thing is when you're traversing complex paths and complex patterns, uh, it can be really slow doing uh, dozens of joins uh, per one query. So the performance really is not something uh, that they can deliver. Uh, so ideally, you want to have easy and fast end-to-end -end business process and technology architecture mapping, which is very suitable with graphs, uh, and performance on deeply connected data sets and cobbless queries, basically where graph databases uh, shine. So for you who don't know what graph databases is, basically they help you uh, manage and store uh, network data, so connected data, data that's uh, shown uh, like this. So you have nodes, you have relationships between your nodes instead of traditional tables. Uh, and when you map your system into data lineage, just give me a second, I'm going to show you a really quick demo that we did. I think I'm, I need to, I might need to reposition myself. Better show the demo. Uh, so we cannot show banking data, uh, but what we did is uh, basically we've mapped uh, the GitHub repositories from uh, uh, the top organizations like Microsoft, Google, uh, Intel, stuff like that, and basically commits to their open source repositories on GitHub. Uh, so you can you can see here um, uh, we have, for example, Microsoft. We have. Uh, uh, Google Google has, uh, for example, this repository. When you click it, uh, you can see all of the commits, all of the branches, all of the people that have done that. So you can see exactly in which ways uh, the data was changed and in which ways uh, was it manipulated. You can uh, click on the users, uh, get more uh, interesting data uh, back into it. Uh, and we a couple of examples. Uh, so one thing which is very interesting for me is uh, this example right here should be loading. Uh, so this one query enables you to get this. And why this is interesting is you can see there are two organizations uh, here. Uh, there's Google and Microsoft. And there are two people uh, who in the same week committed to two different uh, repositories. Uh, even though some of the paths are very long, uh, you can easily uh, track this kind of data. Uh, and this is very crucial, for example, in financial uh, industry. 
uh, where you have multiple departments that, that, that do uh, multiple things and have conflicts of interest, so they cannot share information together. So using this, you can basically map your processes and find those uh, weak links, those uh, leaks of data uh, that you have, uh, and you can you can basically improve your operational efficiency. It's so it's not only for um, for tracking the data for uh, compliance purposes. Uh, so one thing uh, why we got this contract uh, with a financial institution was that other solutions did not uh, have good enough performance. So they tried multiple graph uh, offerings that are currently present in the market. None of them could deliver the solution. Uh, they turned to us. Uh, we're Memgraph, uh, very high performance uh, uh, graph database built from the ground up uh, using in-memory storage, uh, lock-free data structures. We really put the emphasis on very low latency, very high throughput uh, and we basically offer 10 to 100 times performance improvement uh, on uh, existing so over existing solutions on use cases like that uh, so our basically our vision uh, is speed scale simplicity that's what we want to provide uh, to our customers uh, and just to give you uh, a quick rundown uh, of the things uh, so you can have uh, not only you can you can do data lineage and be compliant uh, with the regulations, but you can also have improved decision support, uh, so you can better manage and better optimize your processes, make your organizations more efficient, which ultimately leads to decreased capital costs, uh, which uh, I know that one bank saved uh, two billion dollars by implementing uh, data lineage system and just improving. Uh, all of the processes there inside. But it's not the only use case uh, with data lineage. Uh, data lineage can be used in insurance uh, and healthcare as well uh, to manage data there. And uh, as, as a part of graph databases, there are much more other use cases that graph databases can do. Uh, and I encourage you to visit our booth, number P6, so we're in the Innovators Pavilion. Uh, and to see more demo demos, we have uh, impact analysis, social demos, stuff like that. Uh, and to enter uh, for a chance to win uh, Star Wars Sphero. And uh, we're just announced that we're launching our early access. So we'll have a community edition that will be publicly available. Uh, but now we're launching an early access a couple of months before that. And if you want to become the part of the early adopters community, feel free to sign up. Uh, I'd be very uh, happy if you did so. Uh, my name is Dominic. And should you have any questions regarding this, feel free to contact me on dominic at memgraph.com. Thank you.